Hello everyone, welcome to my channel for today's video is about the um, eyeshadow using Marty X Better Star. This eyeshadow is, is beautiful. It has a uh, cone tones and warm tones and matte and shimmers and they are really nice. And I try to do my eyeshadow technique today and I will be doing more next time. And also I like to share with you the Estee Lauder that I have here. When you buy this one, it doesn't come with a pump. Maybe that's a new, but there's no pump. So at Sephora, they sell uh, the pump they sell for. $12 for one and the color is blue and I saw this on Amazon and if I'm not mistaken $12 I got $12 for two or $13 something like that and it's really good in it and the color is gold and it's a pump to make um, more easy to use your foundation because and you don't have to open it and air goes inside and it will damage your foundation. So having a pump is a good idea for this, for this um, foundation. So if you are interested with this video and in this eyeshadow, please continue on watching. Thank you. I will start my makeup by applying my foundation and I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and also I'm using a damp beauty sponge and my makeup setting spray I will put two pumps of the foundation on the back of my hand And I will use the damp sponge to dip it with my foundation. And I will use my makeup setting spray to spray on my damp beauty sponge and apply it all over my face.
Next, I'm going to apply my concealer on my under eye area. And I'm using Tarte Christmas Concealer. And with this product, I only use a little bit because a little bit of this goes a long way. And I'm using the damp beauty sponge to blend it. I will also use the same concealer to apply concealer all over my eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow. And I will blend it with the same damp spa beauty sponge. Next, I'm going to bake on my under eye area using Laura Mercier loose setting powder and also the same damp beauty sponge. I will also put some setting powder on my jawline area.
Next, I'm going to do my eyebrow and I'm using this JS7 brush by Jeffree Star and Eyebrow Gel by Benefit. to use this uh, powder brush by Murphy and I'm going to blend loose setting powder all over my face except on my under eye area because I want to blend that after I finish my eyeshadow. I want to bake it a little bit longer. Next, I'm going to contour my face using my MAC Contour Palette. And I'm gonna apply it on my lower cheekbone. And I will blend it really well. Same as on the other side. So apply the contour powder on my forehead close to my hairline. Now I'm going to start with my eyeshadow and I'm using this J JS8 brush by Murphy X Jeffree Star and I'm using the shade here the name of the shade is Lin I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid
Next, I'm going to apply my transition shade and I'm using a JS6 brush and I'm using the shade here 1985. I'm going to apply it on my crease area. I will add a little bit of color on top of my transition shade and I'm using the shade channel or Chanel. I will deepen the color on my crease. Using the shade Boss Angelis. I will apply it on my outer V of my eye. the same key on the other side 